anti-Americanism is a very interesting concept. It all, it's a concept that only exists in totalitarian states. In the Soviet Union, old Soviet Union, uh, you could be condemned for being anti-Soviet. In the um, Brazilian military dictatorship, you could be uh, anti-Brazilian. But aside from the United States, I don't know of any other uh, non-totalitarian, non-authoritarian country where the concept even exists. It's a very striking country concept. If you're critical of policy, you're anti-American. Actually, this has an interesting biblical origin. King Ahab, who was the ultimate the king of ultimate evil in the Bible, he called the prophet Isaiah, uh, Elijah to him and asked him why he is a hater of Israel, meaning condemning the acts of the evil king. That's basic concept. Authority, if you challenge authority, you're opposed to the society, the culture, you know, the community, and so on. Anti-Americanism is a very interesting concept. It all, it's a concept that only exists in totalitarian states. In the Soviet Union, old Soviet Union, uh, you could be condemned for being anti-Soviet. In the uh, Brazilian military dictatorship, you could be uh, anti-Brazilian. But Aside from the United States, I don't know of any other uh, non-totalitarian, non-authoritarian country where the concept even exists. It's a very striking country concept. If you're critical of policy, you're anti-American. Actually, this is to him and asked him why he is a hater of Israel, meaning condemning the acts of the evil king. That's basic concept. Authority, if you challenge an interesting biblical origin. King Ahab, who was the ultimate the king of ultimate evil in the Bible, he called the prophet Isaiah, uh, Elijah